Well, they have pretty good. I gotta say, they have pretty good customer service. I'd go to just one or two cans or get this, or go to the business stuff if you want. They have pretty good customer service though, dude. You know who doesn't? Facebook. Facebook. Facebook will like schedule a call with you, and yeah. they're literally like, "Hey, uh, we got a call. Um, you you want to increase like your return on ads? Yeah, we'll set up an appointment." And then I'm not lying. The chick literally's like, "Yeah, so we're looking at it, and you, what you got to do is you just increase your budget, and you'll do better. It, it's so just increase your budget, like double it." And I'm like. So just double it, right? So spend if, more? Yeah, that's it. If you talk to Google out, they're screen sharing with you for an hour. Oh, wow. They're looking at all your metrics. Hey, that's not converting. When someone's clicking your website, it's not tracking as conversion. Let's get you with the uh, wow. Pixel team. Let's do this. And they, they spend hours with you. Anytime, they spend hours with you all the time. Let's check in a couple weeks. Facebook, just spend more. You'll get more trash, dude. Google really? will take their time with you. Google is a is a... I mean, I'm not a fan of Google, but as far as for business, Google's great, dude. Google is great. They get know, on the phone with you. I didn't even know you could talk to real people. Like real Google. people, dude. I mean, they're not being American. That's America, crazy. They've helped us do out they, a lot. Do they have Indian accents? Indian, for sure, Indian, yeah. When you call Xfinity, <laughs> I don't know if Xfinity is nationwide, but when you call Xfinity, the one, bro, you call 100 times, you'll get <clears throat> two fluent English speakers. I wouldn't assume any. That's, that's, <clears throat> even just think about, you gotta like, people don't think about where their money goes. So like, you wanna call Amazon. My dad's like, I got an auto subscription from Amazon. I can't cancel it. No one speaks English, can't get a hold of anyone. Where do you think like, so you buy some from Amazon, where's their money go out? In the, it goes into the biggest people's pockets. Like the, when they give out yeah. stipends, 1200 bucks, people spend it, it goes back up to the top. Like when you go to a small business, you give it to that person. It gives it to his staff. And they were giving out those checks for no one working. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, when you give it to Amazon, all they're doing is they're trying to make everything robotic, cut costs, cut people, cut jobs. It's all about making things as seamless as possible with zero error. You know where errors come from? Mm -hmm. People. People make errors, Al. People don't show up to work. People get sick. People deliver to the wrong house. Robots don't. No, they don't. And they work 24 hours They work a 24 day. hours. <laughs> and they don't have sick days. And... So that's all Amazon does is they don't automation. Have, they don't have pronouns either. No, automation, dude. So when you support Amazon, you're supporting freaking automation. You support small business, you know 70% of money spent locally stays locally. You go to one of these mom and pop shops, that guy's gonna go to the liquor store. He's gonna go to the freaking grocery store. He's gonna go to the gas station. Gonna... Dude, Amazon not doing that. They're sending it to China to get more car parts made in plastic. So small businesses <clears throat> make up 99.9% .9 of all US firms. It seems like a lie, dude. Yeah, that's a lie. Yeah. Well, you know what firms. percent of businesses fail in their first year? Where? Or how much? I wrote that bitty down. 18% and 50% in the first five years. Right here? Yeah. 18% in the first year that, Al, they don't even make it 365 days, dude. It's even worse with the restaurant business. There's like a 75% oh, okay. failure rate your first year. <clears throat> I know, and I feel like people hate on restaurants a lot. Like, oh, I can make a steak at home for 15 bucks. Yeah, I know. You have to pay the chef. You have to buy the food in bulk. You have to pay the waitress. You have yeah. to pay the rent of the place. And then it's they're probably going to make it better than you. It's for you to be served, dude. Support a business or shut the hell up. Honestly, when there's like a, a bunch of meat laying around and wrappers and boxes, and I'm like, man, yeah, the I should have just went to a restaurant. I don't deal with any of this cleanup, any of this prepping, but not that <laughs> affordable to eat out anymore, man. Yeah, we just celebrated <coughs> seven years in business, and dude, it feels like seventy years, but at the same time, it feels like a blink. Like it, it yeah, went so remember, over fast. Dude. I remember when you first opened up, and I came in here. I remember you too. I remember you were like, "Dude, the shirt fits great. I'm riding my bike." <laughs> yeah, I'd give you all this feedback, <laughs> and look at you now, Al. But one thing I do remember, you say you always feel bad for you. Like you said, you and I never remembered. You're like, I asked, like, why would you put a store here? And I'm like, yeah. I guess you're right. You know, it's funny. When me and Wyatt signed the papers mm -hmm. with the realtor in the city, as soon as we signed the papers, dude, we're all giddy and excited. As soon as we signed the contract, she looks at me with him and they go, well, like, now we got to ask you, like, why would you come here? Like, this is a pretty quiet city. And I'm like, well, we're going to try to pull from the surrounding area. She's like, yeah, you're going to need to. And I'm like, wow. You should have been as like. As soon as we signed, they made their commission, dude. I wonder I wonder what the look on her face would have been like if you just asked her, like, why couldn't you ask me that question before I signed it? Yeah, I still would have signed it, but yeah. Yeah. But I think that's like, look, I try to ask myself, like, what would I have done? Like, even when I talked to her, like, what could I have done? Because, dude, the first two years of business were rough, Al. 
Yeah. I'm, I was coming from one of their busiest stores. We were planting stores, and they were just boom, man. We would put a store anywhere, boom. Put a yeah. store anywhere, boom. So when we came here, I kind of expected the same thing. Yeah. I expected just people to go, oh, size up, I've heard of that, and stop in. And it wasn't like that, dude. The first two years, three years were tough, dude. Because yeah. I thought it was just, you plant a store, and people show up. And it was like, it was a dog day. Dude. It's usually a grind, any business you, you open, man. And I but, didn't uh, really know, like, how do you grow it? Because we've had lucky, dude, we've had stores just you plop them and just thousands of people come in. I couldn't, bro, I could not escape your, your t-shirts. <clears throat> like, at, that, every, yeah, seven, five, every seven gym, years ago, yeah. can I say the company name? Yeah, Ford. Ford. Yeah, dude. Ford. No, size up supplements. I could not go to the gym without seeing at least five people wear a size up shirt. Hell, I stopped wearing it because <laughs> I didn't want to keep seeing dudes in the same shirt and have to like acknowledge you. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I was like, what's up, dude? And they'd all wear the new drop. Like, you guys would come out with a new <laughs> SKU, and like the next week, the whole gym is like, oh, he's got the bright orange size up shirt. Yeah, it was like, dude, yeah. yeah. Then we started making them limited because that was a problem. You have three dudes with the same shirt. That's kind of awkward. But what a good problem. Uh, it is a great problem. But it's like, damn, I don't want to associate with this guy. That's my gym rival. No, you, I, you ever yeah, have yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Have, you ever have an imaginary beef in your head for some gym, reason, the gym guy? We all have know. a couple dudes where it's like, he knows I don't like him and yeah, I don't like you, dude. I'll never like you. Yeah. I, we've been going to this gym for 10 years. I'll never say hi to you, bro. I don't, I, there's, you rub me the wrong way. I don't want to look at you. You know what really gets me <laughs> is when people sing out loud and talk yeah. to themselves. Yeah, you're my enemy for life. Well, I just, it actually, I think you're mentally ill. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? This guy was doing it the other day, dude. Like just like, like yeah, yeah, shawty. And I'm just like, there's this one kid that went to school with my younger brother, and he did it all the time, and he would dance, and bro, I would just stare at him. It's so weird. Man. I would just stare. I would give him the dirtiest look, but just, just so he could be like, what are you looking at? And yeah. I'd be like, you. <laughs> and I want to fight you right yeah, now. No. I I could not. I hated him, bro. When you're young, it is funny how, like, you just want to fight sometimes. Like, yeah. dude, I don't know. Like, you just stare at someone until they look at you. Like, yeah. what's up? What's up? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> oh. Yeah, but when you're dancing and singing. But, it, like, if you think about it now, at the gym, as, we, as we've matured, like, okay, that guy's just enjoying his vibe. He's not hurting anyone. He's lost in his music. Like, it's not hurting anyone. It's yeah. awkward, but, like. Just because it's like, it's not like he's in people's faces. So like, why, why does that bother me? Because be smart enough to know that excessive sound is invasive to another person, bro. It's awkward. You know what I mean? Like, imagine you're having a conversation with somebody and I just come up next to you and I, I just start making all these noises with my mouth that are interrupting. But in a your gym, pattern you got talk. your headphones in. It's kind of like normal to not hear anything. Bro, this guy would do it to the point where you, you could hear it. Yeah. You know, you could like... And I don't want to put up my music that loud. I don't want to damage my ears so I can ignore the sounds that you're making with your mouth, bro. Just be a respectful person and shut up or fight me. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm just saying, like, now that I get older, like, I try to just be like, hey, if he's not hurting anyone, whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm like I don't give a fudge anymore. But it still bothers you. I still think you're a psychopath. Well, one time, the same guy actually came, <clears throat> came up to me and my buddy when we were working on. He's like, you, got, you guys, how, how many sets you got? Empty gym. Empty. It was like a Saturday afternoon. I'm like, we're going to be here for a minute, probably three, set, three sets each. <laughs> you know what he does? Same guy that sings out loud. He just sits on the bench across from our machine and just plays on his phone. He sat there. That's pretty respectful, though. Bro, he was like five feet away from us in an empty gym. But think about it from his perspective. He didn't get mad. He didn't do anything. He just no, sat no. there on his phone. Al, we're doing flies. Al says no. He's no. sitting in front of us, facing us, like trying to show us, like, I'm right here. Uh, we already told you we got a bunch of sets left. <laughs> so I looked at Garrett. I'm like, this guy's a retard. I'm like, this guy's an idiot. He's like, let's just do 10 sets each. <laughs> Bro, we <laughs> destroyed the chest. Bro, we made him wait there for like 10 to 15 minutes. When I told him we had three sets, he thought we were going to be done. Bro, he, we, it got to the point where I was like so sick of looking at him. I'm like. But if you ask me, dude, he was the bigger man out. He's a re, no, I mean, look. I'm saying he didn't do nothing wrong. He just sat there and waited for you guys. You probably would have been like, hey, dude, you said three sets. No, man. You said drop bomb here. He's he's a sh piece of shit. I don't like that kid. <laughs> Do you still see him? Do you still see no, him? No, no. He pops up on my social media once in a while. and I'm just See, like, I've grown away. I don't. There's only like one or two dudes that I see regularly that I'm like, what is wrong? And they sing out loud, dude. And they like walk. I'm just like, 
I don't, dude, I don't talk to no one at the gym, man. I'm, I just, what's up? I had not, I ain't talking to nobody. Dude. Yeah. I'm here for 40 minutes, and then you can talk to me if you see me in the sauna or outside, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here 40 minutes, I gotta pick my kids up, bro. I do not care. Right. You're looking good. Cool. You too, man. See ya. No, oh, man. I don't know how you take kids to the gym. I, I could barely take my kid into the backyard without getting tired. You'll be and, back at the gym for the daycare now. We're, uh... By the time nobody watches our podcast, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna tell uh, we're telling everybody that the wife is prego with the second one. Dude, you're putting that on here. Yeah, this is huge news. <laughs> we're telling no man. We're we're pretty deep into the pod, man. Nobody's gonna Dude. watch. Dude, so I'm gonna have two under two. What the heck, man? Yeah. Two two babies under two years old. And you, it's a life I I'm oh I don't want anymore, dude. What am I? I don't want do? any more children. I love them, dude. It's a lot, as you know. Yeah. As you know, brother. But not to talk about babies, man. Oh, you I, know what? Yeah, go for it. So look, you're going to say XRP. You know what I wish I would have did seven years ago? <laughs> What's buy that? XRP? It was like two cents. Yeah, that's when you really make. Money. Think about it. I could if you never opened a business, you just put money in XRP seven years ago. Dude, it was two cents, though. You're talking about a ten x. Bitcoin's the ultimate return, though. No, it's everything. Well, yeah, in ten years, yeah. Yeah, even I feel like even now, man, if you just put your chunks of money into Bitcoin, I don't. It's too high, bro. I, I sound defeated right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I remember uh, you came in this store about four years ago, talking all about giddy crypto. and happy and promising a life full of financial freedom. And brother, <laughs> it has not been a life of uh, no man. Let me look. XRP forty nine cents. California judge has ordered a lawsuit against Ripple, alleging that CEO Brad Garlinghouse violated California securities laws. That just got dropped. Wait, uh, but this oh is no, California is the only state that it didn't get dropped. The other lawsuit against Brad, saying that they misled people, did get dropped. I was in a video this morning. Man, they just want it. So now, say they beat the SEC in a federal case, now individual states can come after this company? Only California, because they suck. Just, dude, going with California, didn't they just ban smartphones, or was it just Facebook and schools? Oh, yeah. Which one? I think it's just uh, Newsom cell phone ban. I think uh, out of high school or something, which I think is a good idea. When's the last time you have a new cell phone you're on one of um, I'm probably not spelling it right. Let me go here. Uh, but didn't Newsom just ban smartphones in school? Or was it? Yeah, that's what he's trying to propose. And what's your thoughts on that? I think he's trying to. 19, the fuck? I think he's trying to act like he cares about the future. Okay, here, here we go. Let kids be. LA school becomes larger. Scroll down, yeah. Okay, click this one on the left. Newsom calls for ban on smartphone use in California. This is. Dude, you can't look at news anywhere, Al. Yeah, nobody's gonna. You pay. can't. No one's paying for this stupid stuff, dude. All right, so I wish we could. I wish I could just one. block that. Uh, <laughs> let's go here. Yeah, hopefully we can click it. Well, look. Tell me, this guy doesn't look the, the, the scariest political guy ever because he looks good, not that fudge. Scroll down. Look <laughs> at this guy. He looks like a guy's gonna tell you what you want to hear. He's very good on the mic. This guy's a piece of crap, dude. He he would be an amazing candidate for the Democrats, to be honest. I'm not saying he's oh, an amazing I agree. person. I agree. Because he's slick talk. At a dude. debate, yeah, like I've heard him during interviews, he sounded like. Scroll down. Even when they call him out on his BS. Tuesday, he wants to restrict students' usage of smartphones during the school day, citing the mental health risks of social media. I'm all for it. Surgeon General affirmed social media is harming the mental health of our youth. The Democratic governor said in a statement, I look forward to working with the legislature to restrict the use of smartphones during the school day. When children and teens are in school, they should be focused on their studies, not their screens. I love it. Yeah. But to me, Al, that's the government overstepping boundaries. It's up to the parents to say, hey, dude, and the schools, your phone's got to go in the locker. Or we had, we had phones that's true. when we were in high school, Al. You, if you pulled your phone out, you'd get it took away you go to the principal. Why don't you have that now? But you didn't have social media the way it, true. it is now. But at the end of the day, your phone can't be seen in class. So just keep that policy. My wife works in the school. She's like, kids are on their phone all day. I go, you guys don't enforce that? She's like, the teachers really don't. I'm like, are you kidding the me? the teachers are probably on their phones all day. Dude, so like, I'm all for it, but it's on the teachers and it's on the staff, dude. If you pull your phone out, your phone's going to the principal office for the day. It's that simple. You ever been to a family gathering and like everybody's on their phone simultaneously at no, once? No, dude, my, like... family, my family's pretty good at it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I hate when people away. show me stuff. Like, let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> 
I know, man. The less, the more, the more that you're on your phone, to me, the dumber you are. I don't care if someone will text me. I'll purposely not read it for hours because I don't want to look at my phone. Yeah. Like, there's no reason for me. I want to be in this moment, man. That's it's better to live like that, to be honest. What's your thoughts on the restriction? And we got to close this baby up. I think the cell phone restriction is a. <clears throat> I think there is a mental health crisis. I think these kids are too. These kids are these people because I think it's. Dads, think it's moms, people. parents, everyone. I think it's a lot of yeah. people. We're more attached to screens than ever before. And if to nothing feels better than putting away your phone and experiencing a moment. How often do you do honest. that? A lot. A lot. That's yeah, yeah. awesome. When I charge my do phone. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At night when I sleep. <laughs> do you know what you should do? What? Charge your phone in a different room when you sleep. I do that. I do that. Because sometimes you wake up, you check the time, now you can't fall asleep because XRP's up a sign. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're talking to a guy that used to sleep uh, with the TV on. Really? Yeah, yeah. So for me to have a YouTube video playing and going to sleep, like, that's not a big deal for me. I said, yeah, high school, every night I would just, like, watch, like, <clears throat> I don't know, reruns of Wheel of Fortune, which, uh, by the way, Pat Sajak retired. Who the hell is that? The Wheel of Fortune guy, man. Watch that guy. What? <laughs> Vanna White and... I don't give a crap, dude. Man, after 35 I years... I care about two people, Dana White and Ray Lewis. <laughs> Why Ray Lewis? Ray Lewis is the man. <laughs> Ray Lewis is the man, dude. Yeah. But it, I'm very surprised right now with uh, Twitter. You could tell Twitter is X is restricting. Bro, for Roaring Kitty not to be trending he does right this on now. Purpose, though, though. He didn't say anything. <clears throat> His whole weird community is talking about what's going on right now. Today's the day, bro. You're telling me Columbia University is tr- trending over GME today? After they made such a big deal about what are they trying to? They're pissed about something. Columbia probably they're wearing their hijabs and they're screaming. Um, free Palestine. Columbia task force finally weighs in. Yes, anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism. You know, dude, the end of this all can solve. You put the smartest people in the room. You podcast it with Joe Rogan. You talk about it, and you get these loser kids that don't have jobs to go. Hey, dude, at the end of the day, like. Listen to this debate, and no one's for war, man. Is anyone for war and killing people? And I've seen these things. He's screaming at each other with microphones. What are you doing? They're not changing anything. The people who have the most amount of money are doing. Are they're loving this? They're loving this. We're approaching an election, and there's protests and the war. The good thing is, though, say that everybody on pro Palestine is in the right. Say that it comes out in years that they're correct, and that this is all wrong they're all wearing masks which is never a good sign you don't want to see your identity no but okay cool then we should never be allowed we shouldn't allow genocide absolutely not then cool but you gotta figure it out on how to talk and communicate with people you disagree with and publicize it dude i think masks need to be removed i agree i'm sorry you you know you, you used to not be able to wear a mask and have a gun and now you can yeah yeah you're you could literally you know who you are me and you could walk around with a mask. <clears throat> I agree. Hey, when I'm in downtown Detroit, I'm not lying. I see oh, a, kids in a, masks? a young black kid wearing a, not just a mask, but he's like this. Ski masks? And he's walking like, and he's looking oh, at dude, people like this. I'm like, like bro, what are you doing? No, what no. are you doing? You're covering your face, bro. I'm on high alert. Yeah. High alert. Even even if it's a white guy. Anyone, dude. Matter. I don't give a fudge. He, but if it's an Asian guy, if I see Asian eyes, I'm not, I'm like, oh, he's. They're the best people. He's going to teach me math. No, if I see anyone in a ski mask, that stuff, or in, a, or in a mask in general, you're trying to hide your face. I don't know what you want to do. And that's why I remember when COVID first came out, I said, dude, they don't want you in a mask. Trust me. Eventually, they're going to ban it, dude. You know, in New York, they already have that. Where, they're, where they, uh... Yeah, like this guy, he's just trying to save himself from, from viruses. That's all he's doing. I mean, dude. <laughs> God bless. Dude. What are you guys doing? You guys know, uh, you guys... Know nothing about the Middle Couple East. Couple bottle, yeah, yeah. You could be dead over. That's the. I mean, we get it. That's the. Imagine know. if we had a hostile government and they just rounded the, all these people and put them on planes and dropped yeah, them off here, to Gaza. Guys, figure it out here. Go solve it. <laughs> Go help them. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> you want to help? Like, which place would you rather live in? You have to ask yourself if you're one of these people. You know what I mean? These, uh, you'll figure it out quickly. Well, anyway, we're wrapping it up, dude. Yeah. Suspect now for throwing rocks at Columbia University for a protester in the face. Nice. Not cool, dude. White motherfuckers with cats. High red flags. <laughs> yeah. I got cats. Oh, yeah. I forgot I was talking to you. <laughs> the red flag we go. 
Yeah, not should, single. Should be single with right cats. <laughs> if you're single with cats, it's bad. All right, guys. All right, let's try to make some money today. Have a good one. The 4th of July is coming up. And we'll be here before then. Yeah, we'll be here. <clears throat> Take care and goodbye.